Now let us see uh, what do we mean by well posed boundary conditions. There are some recommended settings and recommended best practices uh, which if we follow uh, the boundary conditions are mostly well posed and do not cause any uh, any um, wrong physics uh, to be imposed. So uh, the most robust type of uh, boundary condition settings are velocity and mass flow at inlet and static pressure at outlet. Uh, also inlet total pressure is an implicit result of the prediction so what do we specify here is that velocity mass uh, inlet and static pressure outlet the solver itself will give you the in total pressure at inlet another uh, robust condition this 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 condition is the most robust the first one that we talked and there is also a, a relatively robust condition where we can give total pressure as inlet and velocity mass flow at outlet and in that case the static pressure outlet and the velocity at inlet are part of the solution but still the first one is much more robust than this uh, and uh, uh, the now now we start uh, going into boundary conditions which may be sensitive with respect to initial guess which is total pressure at inlet and static pressure at outlet the system mass flow is part of the solution but this is very sensitive to the initial guess and it may take time to converge if we give this sort of a boundary condition and the one that should be avoided uh, or is considered unreliable is static pressure at inlet and static pressure as an outlet uh, this is uh, this combination is not usually recommended as the inlet total pressure level and the mass flow are both a part of the solution result and uh, it, the boundary condition combination is very weak constraint on the system so it should be avoided uh, the most first two should be usually uh, used in most of the cases the next uh, critical factor in deciding how to get solution how to do CFD and CFX is basically uh, where the boundary of the domain should be located. This is a very critical decision and from numerical point of view it is often very useful to extend the locations of inlet and outlet if there are any type of reverse flow and we cannot give the exact quantity of reverse flow. An example here is a backward step example where uh, we, we are seeing that the outlet boundary is located here and there is some sort of reverse flow happening and uh, this is uh, if, if we cannot quantify this recirculation and give it as a boundary condition it is very difficult uh, to get a correct solution out of such type of boundary uh, location. So what do we do is uh, we extend the boundary uh, so that it lo no longer uh, intersects the uh, recirculation region and then we can give a constant uh, pressure condition here which makes sense. Uh, the ideal is actually to extend uh, so long that here we have a developed profile or sort of a uh, uniform profile and we can give a uh, standard uh, or a single value of uh, static pressure. Uh, also uh, it is important to utilize a symmetric uh, boundary condition or symmetric geometry uh, type of a approach and it is uh, it is a caution or a note here is that symmetric geometry does not always necessarily mean a symmetric flow so uh, the, the example is a coin die effect in which the jet entering at a center of a symmetrical duct will tend to flow along one side above a certain Reynolds number what happens is uh, if we go on increasing Reynolds number this is no longer a symmetric jet flow uh, that the jet kind of a uh, flows uh, near the duct wall <coughs> at, at above a certain uh, type of uh, Reynolds number and so the center line cannot be used as a symmetry boundary condition as compared to a low Reynolds number flow where we can use this as a symmetry plane and symmetry boundary condition and model only the upper half of the domain so you have to be careful with that also so to summarize this particular session uh, we 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 would like to uh, stress further that uh, specify boundary condition that define but do not over specify the problem also choose boundary domains which allow for most accurate boundary conditions these are the most critical things when you set boundary conditions that is the boundary condition inputs and the boundary condition location so thank you for viewing this particular uh, lecture in the CFX course. Uh, we will continue the CFX course in the next lecture and we look forward to having you in the next lecture as well. Thank you.